mm, sequence number seven so we we are given the statement when the start but when the start button is pressed one motor must start rotating after 10 seconds the second motor must start by activating the same start button after another 10 seconds the first motor must stop automatically the second motor must continue running and until stop button is activated the image is the stop button must stop both motors immediately at all times so here we're going to look at how you can draw not exactly how, how to wire not exactly how to draw this is the statement given so this is how you're going to wire it in this circuit so you start by here here must be an isolator from an isolator i'm taking it from here this is a circuit breaker circuit breaker so we're going to take it from circuit breaker and go down so if you have an isolator just uh, you're going to wire it from here and then you take it to then you're neutral you take it to a neutral so it show that you wire to the neutral and then from your life you're going to the overload so this one we can say it's more to one This is a contact representing a contact motor one. This is motor two. So you wire to motor one ninety five. So we're going to do only the control here ninety five. We take it from a and then from 95 to output here yeah. then from here you're going to take it to e stop e stop in and then out out is going to the in and then out of this one is going to here you take it from 96 to input then output is stop and then you're going to take it to 13 to motor one the output This is 13, so this is the 13. Then we are going to take this straight until we finish here. Then we're going to take this one and this one. So from 14 output, you're going to, to time to timer one. So this one we call it timer one. This is timer two. It's up to you how to you name it because it's there. And then we are going to take it to one. Oh, this is timer two. We are taking it to timer two. Timer two number one. Then output of timer two it's four. Four is going to a one of jump. Then 
then yeah this is a2 so we're going to take it to a2 today to 10 of time on This is A2 going This is 10 Then this that from 13 13 we're going to the start button So input of the start button is connected to 13 So but 13 is connected to the output of a stop but you can take it to here because the same thing just not to confuse you let's take it to 13 Here is 13, then output for 13, and then from output of start button, this is output of start button, it's going to 21 to the second, and to 21 of contact is going here, of, uh, so I'm going to take this one to the, going to output and then 21 is linked to it output of 21 is 22 we're going to take it from here to 2 and to 1 so from 1 of timer to here is it is common so we can take it also to 1 to 20 22 and 1 and 14 is one thing you can take the yeah, air to 14 here you just take it from here and then you put it in to 14 because it's linked together so then you can take it from 1 to 2 here it's 1 timer 2 you take it to timer 1 And then from here, um, 10 is connected, already connected. So this one is done, then we're going to take from 1 to 21. 1 of time on, this one, to 21. So taking this one to one to 21 here is 21 then another one here it's connected from 3 output to 2 of timer 2 so 3 then we are taking it to 2 Also to three from three 
to a1 this side And then we are taking it from here, yeah, from three, from three to here. Yeah, this is this is three, and then we take it to. Yeah. Then output and ten is one thing. So we're going to take timer two. You see timer two, and a two is the same. So yeah. timer two and a two is the same. Also, this one is common because it's it's connected to one. Then we can take um, a two here. Yeah, taking it to neutral. And this is how we will connect this one. We just need to follow. Uh, this one and connecting so this is the control circuit only it's not even the main circuit so this is how you connect it and that's it